Okay, look, I've came up with a way so far that I believe will save the baby fishies. I have a really crappy phone camera, sorry. But there are some baby guppies there from their family that likes to eat them. So what I did was I took some cross stitch material and I sewed it together with that black thread that you see there. And then I took some hard plastic or harder plastic and sewed it on the edges. And then I cut these areas here for the babies to be able to go through from the other side. This way, you don't have to have one of those things and try and figure out when the mom is gonna have babies. You can just put that in there and leave it. And then your babies will, oops, sorry, come out to this side. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in so you can see the babies better. And there they are. I have about 10 babies now. And it's on a good, oh, let me zoom out. Like here's the tank. So it's about a third of the tank that I set up for the babies. And so far I have about 10 little babies in there. And they're pretty cute. There are a couple of little bigger fish that we're able to get in. Oh look, there's a bunch of babies right there. There's a little fish that was able to get in down here. Right there. Whoops, sorry. Right there, that was a baby guppy. He's still a, t a little guppy, but he's, I don't think, big enough to eat them. So hopefully I'm going to remember and see all the little black dots. Hopefully I'm going to remember to take a video um, every day so that you can see how these guys are growing up because they grow so fast. So if you have some guppies and you want to save the babies, just build one of these. Cost me probably, I don't know, two dollars to make it. And a couple poked fingers trying to get it through the plastic. A pair of scissors to cut the holes, needle and thread, and you are set. You can save your babies from the big guys. Okay, I will see you tomorrow so that you can see these guys a day older. This is